gentlemen, welcome to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're live at Lady Pirate Park where the Lady Pirates are getting ready to take on the Missy Gators in softball action here tonight. The Missy Gators from Vicksburg, Mississippi. I'm Daryl Palmer, DP, your play-by-play -play voice of Pearl Pirate Athletics, and I'll be bringing you the action tonight to be here solo as we will be for four softball games that we're going to bring you this year. This being the first, is supposed to have been the second of our softball broadcast. The first one we were planning to do, well, Mother Nature decided she had other ideas and decided to rain out that game uh, just over a week ago on a Monday night. But we're here tonight. We're ready for softball action. It's a gorgeous night here at Pearl High School as we're up on the hill just north of the football field, just north of the practice field for Pearl High School football. And uh, sun shining. There's almost no wind blowing whatsoever. The starting lineups are being introduced on the field right now. They're ready for the national anthem. So I'm going to pause for the national anthem here at Lady Pirate Park. That was the National Anthem here at Lady Pirate Park. We apologize for the audio at the beginning of that. We thought we could pick up the field speakers better. We decided to adjust in the, on the fly, and uh, great job for Chris Purnell, our public address announcer, helping us out. We'll go ahead and give you the starting lineups. First for the visiting team, the Vicksburg Gate. Actually, first we're going to take a quick break, get one commercial, and then we'll come back, and I'll give you the batting order and defensive set for the Pearl Pirates. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. Serving Mississippi since 1967, forgotten, Mississippi right? Bonding <laughs> Company is prepared to help in your time of need. Our agents are the quickest, most efficient, yeah, and most educated bail bonds agents in the area. We use state-of-the-art computer order. equipment and Thanks. services to process all applications, credit cards, and deliver the necessary Amanda documents Yoder. to get your friends and family released Amanda. as quickly as possible. All jails, all, jails, all courts, statewide and nationwide service, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In trouble? Call Mississippi Bonding Company right now and let our professional agents help. Welcome back to Pearl Pirates Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're getting ready to get underway. The umpires for this game on the bases will be Robert Livingston. Behind the plate is Mark Boone, a.k.a. Captain Kangaroo is what they said, and he'll be calling to all and strikes behind the plate. The defense for the Lady Pirates will have in left field Madison Perkins, in center field Shelby Miller, and in right field is London May. The infield at third base, Jessica McClendon. The shortstop, Caitlin Harvey. At second base, Melissa Keebler. At first base, Cameron Smith. Behind the plate, Alexis Bullman, and on the mound, Hannah Grace Emmons. Leading off is Paige Bowser, first batter for the Missy Gators. And that first pitch misses just low and away for ball one. First pitch at 4.56. We're about four minutes early, and you won't get any argument out of this broadcaster for being early on starting a ball game. Now the one ball, no strike pitch coming in to Paige Bowser. She's a second baseman for the Missy Gators. That's in for a call strike. One ball, one strike to count. We'll get a little bit of volume on our crowd mic here. Maybe we can hear that umpire. 
Paige Bowser will be followed by Tory Daniels, Faith Thomas, the first three in the order. There's a ground ball to the right side. It's going to be picked up by Keebler. Toss over to first to Smith to record the 4-3 put out. One batter, one out, and that's what we like to see if you're a Lady Pirate fan. That will bring to the plate Tori Daniels. She plays shortstop for the Missy Gators. Missy Gators are one and four on the season, coached by Amanda Yoakum. And the first pitch just misses ball one. One ball, no strikes to count. There's a ball hit to the right side. Once again, fielded by second baseman Keebler. Toss over to Smith at first and records out number two. Two batters, two 4-3 putouts, and Coach Purnell's got to be happy with that. Lady Pirates are one and two on the season coming into the game. Hannah Gray Simmons a one point, or excuse me, a .78 ERA. Teams are hitting 197 against her coming into the ball game. Now Faith Thomas, the pitcher for the Missy Gators, steps into the batter's box. First pitch to her, misses outside for ball one. One ball, no strikes to count. Hannah Grace has pitched 18 innings, faced 96 batters, 71 at bats, 20 runs, only two of them earned. 14 hits, three doubles, 15 walks, six strikeouts. That's not real good if you're a pitcher. But the big problem is, is the errors behind her have really bit this team. They've committed, the team has committed seven errors on the season, have the Lady Pirates. Two balls, no strikes to count. The pitch misses just high, ball three, three and oh to the pitcher, Faith Thomas. Bit of a chilly evening here. It's 57 degrees currently. But clear skies, light, very light breeze. Right now the flag is hanging limp, not enough to stick it out. Ball four, she walks Faith Thomas on four pitches. First walk of the game, and on the season, that's the 16th walk surrendered by Hannah Grace. And now we're going to get a runner, courtesy runner at first base, is going to be number 14 for Faith Thomas. 14 is Brianna Knox, and she'll be running at first base for the pitcher. The batter will be number nine, Sydney Bufkin. She plays third base for the Missy Gators. And now she'll step into the batter's box with two outs and a runner at first base. We're just underway, no score. First pitch, in for a call, strike. No balls, one strike to count. We had hoped to do quite a few ball games this year, but the schedule, because they're not playing any over spring break, and just the way the schedule worked out, unable to get but five originally scheduled, popped up behind home plate, out of play. Count goes, no balls, two strikes. We had a original panel again doing the one a week ago Monday, and it was rained out. But as it turns out, only four work into our PMN schedule this year, but we're excited about doing those four. Wish we could do more, but, hey, you can only do what you can do. So Now the 0-2 pitch coming to Sidney Bufkin from Hannah Gray Simmons. Misses just low for a ball. One ball, two strikes to count. The Lady Pirates... Next game after today will be after spring break. A number of the girls, I didn't get to, I think five or six or seven of them, something like that, are going on a history trip to New York and will miss, be gone all of spring break. Coach did say she was going to try to practice with whoever's here next Friday, but is expecting limited participation. The next game will be a week from Tuesday following spring break. Now the 2-2 pitch popped up on the infield. Catcher Bullman's moving out, called off. Nope, she's going to make the catch. Almost jumps out of the glove, but she started with it above her head like you're supposed to and makes the catch to record a third and final out. No runs on no hits, no errors. One man left on base, or girl, should I say. We've played a half inning, no score from Lady Pirate Park. Harvey's Fish Hut is located on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road in Pearl, Mississippi. Harvey's prides itself on having the best fried catfish in the metro area, as well as tasty pan trout. Harvey's Fish Hut only serves quality Mississippi farm-raised catfish. Dine-in or carry-out, Harvey's Fish Hut is always served hot and fresh, open Monday through Saturday for both lunch and dinner. So stop by and see Willie Harvey at Harvey's Fish Hut on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road or call to place your order at 601-939-6262. 601-939-6262.
DeSalvo's is a fun place where friends become family. DeSalvo's, delicious Italian food. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Try DeSalvo's for dinner tonight. With portions so big, you'll be eating DeSalvo's again for lunch tomorrow. You'll never go hungry at DeSalvo's. DeSalvo's, Highway 80 East at College Crossing in Pearl. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Delicious Italian food. Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're live at Lady Pirate Park where the Lady Pirates are taking on the Missy Gators from Vicksburg. They set the defense for you for the Vicksburg Missy Gators. In left field is Morgan Callender. The center fielder is Vicki Lewis. In right field, Brooke McGrew. Around the infield at third base, Sidney Bufkin. At shortstop, Tori Daniels. Second base, Paige Bowser. At first base, Courtney Newman. Behind the plate, Blake DeRossett. And on the mound is Faith Thomas. And leading off for the Lady Pirates will be Shelby Miller. She'll be followed by Alexis Bullman, Caitlin Harvey, and London May if one of the first three should reach. Rest of the batting order, batting fifth is Cameron Smith, Hannah Gray Simmons batting sixth, followed by Madison Perkins, Jessica McClendon, and Melissa Keebler. There's your batting order. And, of course, the coach, Leanne Purnell, for the Lady Pirates. Shelby Miller leads off. She plays center field. And the first pitch to her. It's going to miss low for a ball one. Shelby on the season hitting 417 through the first three games that the Lady Pirates have played. Has two RBI. And she leads off here in the bottom of the first. No score in the contest. That pitch low as well. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes to count. Now the 2-0 pitch right down the middle, just above waist high for a call strike. Two balls, one strike to count. Shadow starting to creep over the infield here at Lady Pirate Park from the third base dugout. That one's fouled straight back here to me. If I'd had a glove and it wasn't a fence, I could have caught it. I don't have a glove and there is a fence, and I'm thankful. Now 2-2 count to Shelby Miller. She'll step back in. Just misses low and away, ball three. Three balls, two strikes to count. If you've not been out to Lady Pirate Park, again, I told you where it is, but the center field faces northeast, so the sun sets in the west right over the third base dugout. Another one fouls straight back here to me. Spence going to get a workout here this afternoon. Three balls, two strikes to count to Shelby Miller, leadoff batter for the Lady Pirates. Pops that one up on the infield. Second baseman Bowser is under it, makes the catch, and records the out. And that'll be the first out of the inning for the Lady Pirates, and that'll bring Alexis Bullman, the catcher, to the plate. Alexis hitting 444 on this young season. Now she'll step in. in infield in the corners playing in real close. Look, trying to cut a quick one off and throw Alexis out at first. At third base is Bufkin. At first is Newman. Now the 0-1 pitch, lined foul. Excuse me, that was the 1-0 pitch. Now it's 1-1. One one. The ball is out of play beyond the first base dugout. Got Perry Lowry on the third base camera. Tyler Johnson on the first base camera. Lexus fouls that one off. One ball, two strikes to count. Appreciate Tyler. He's one of our new students in our digital media class here at Pearl High School. And new ones coming out working with Pirate Media Network. I understand Sarah Harden is in the trailer, production trailer, working on, I'm not sure what all she's working on in there. That one bounces in, two balls, two strikes. She's running our scoreboard bug. You see up in the left-hand corner of the screen, the graphics. Sarah's been with us for a couple of years now, and this may be her third year with us. 2-2 two -two pitch, high and outside, ball three. I know for sure, too. And Sarah's done a great job with the Pirate Media Network. We're always glad to have any and all of our students helping us out. That's what this whole program is about. One, we get to highlight our athletics. But two, we get to highlight the students, and they get to learn about producing a ball game. Ground ball right side, picked up by the second baseman, Bowser, tosses to Newman at first. And on the 4-3 put out, second out of the inning, and Caitlin Harvey steps to the plate. Caitlin playing shortstop for the Pirates, hitting 455. Three RBI on the season. 
Now she'll step in with two outs, nobody on here in the bottom of the first. Fouls the first pitch off over the screen and out of play. That one heads to the practice field for football behind the first base dugout. And, of course, some people might say this also gives me something to do in my spare time besides play golf. That pitch misses low for a ball. One ball, one strike to count. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Grounded, foul down the first baseline. Count goes one ball, two strikes. Again, Caitlin Harvey hitting 455. Caitlin has three RBIs. She's got one double on the season. She's walked once and struck out once. Now the one-two pitch hit well towards left field. Left fielder coming in, and she'll get there and make the catch. That was Callender in left and record the out, third and final out of the inning. We played one, no score, back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. Well, stamp and sign is now Sign Mart. Our name has changed, but not our great service. For over 20 years, we have been your number one hometown retailer in custom stamps, signage, and marketing products. Now we are growing and want to take you with us. Whether you have an event, starting a new business, or wish to expand your existing business, Sign Mart is committed to helping you meet your design and marketing needs. Come see the friendly staff at Sign Mart on Pearson Road in Pearl and make your mark in the business world. In times of joy, in moments of grief, we are there. When the world looks for truth, broadcasters come through, even when all else fails. Today, with more ways than ever to experience the moments that transform our lives, Americans still choose broadcast television and radio more than all other media combined. We are the local broadcasters of radio and television. Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the top of the second inning. No score in the ball game. The Missy Gators had four batters come to the plate. Three outs with a walk. The Lady Pirates three up, three down in their half of the first. It'll be Courtney Newman, Brooke McGrew, and Morgan Callender scheduled up for the Missy Gators here in the top of the second. Facing Hannah Gray Simmons, first pitch right down the middle for a call strike. No balls, one strike to count. Now the 0-1 pitch. Popped up, foul, and out of play behind home plate. Goes no balls, two strikes. Hannah Grace just a sophomore. Young team here for the Lady Pirates. Now the 0-2 pitch to Courtney Newman. Hannah Grace gets ready and delivers. Misses low, ball one, one ball, two strikes to count. Looking down the roster, London May is a senior. Shelby Miller is a senior. And that's the only two seniors on the entire roster for the Lady Pirates. So a very young team. Just misses outside, two balls, two strikes to count. When you're looking at the roster, you've also got a few freshmen. You've got a seventh grader, Haley Odom. An eighth grader in Kaylee Arinder, a seventh grader in Cameron Smith. Ground ball left side, picked up by Caitlin Harvey at short. Throws a little bit offline, but I think she might have beat it out anyway. It's kind of to the hole on the right side. We're going to give it a base hit by Courtney Newman. And that will bring Brooke McGrew to the plate. She plays right field. Don't have any stats for Vicksburg. We just got the roster when we got here today. They didn't have anything posted on Max Preps other than a record that I found out when I got here was off a little bit, so I had to correct that. Do want to welcome those from Vicksburg that might be tuning in on the Pirate Media Network on our website at pearlbroadcasting.com. We're glad to have you on board. Now the 1-0 pitch, misses inside for a ball, throw back behind the runner. She'll dive back in ahead of the tag. So we talked about the Pirates, a very young team. I mentioned only two seniors. As I look, only three, looks like three juniors on the roster, so Coach Purnell building a little bit with this team for the future. Now the 2-0 pitch, 
in for a strike. Another throw down to first. This one's going to go to right field. Runner's not going to go anywhere. She didn't notice that it went over the head of the first baseman, and by the time she realized it, might have been too late to go anyway because London May was coming in. She was ready to grab it and throw it a second. Two balls, one strike to count to Brooke McGrew. Ball hit down the left field line, and it's going to be a foul ball, just foul by inches down the third baseline. So the runners will come back, and it'll be a two-ball, two-strike count to Brooke McGrew. Field looks really good out here right now, but talking to Coach Purnell, it's a lot of sand on this field. I'd like to get some more clay in here. 2-2 pitch, line straight back up the middle, out of the reach of Hannah Grace in the center field. That's the first base hit of the ball game for either team. Our second one, excuse me. That's right. It had the infield single to start the inning off. But now that puts two runners on with nobody out. Morgan Callender, left fielder, coming to the batter's box. Left-handed hitter is Morgan Callender. Now she steps in ready to go. Shows bunt, bunts it straight back to the pitcher. Hannah Grace going to throw to third, gets the force out. Good job by Hannah Grace to turn and get the throw to third and record the out. First pitch. Misses inside to Vicki Lewis. Pitch missed for a ball one. Has a line drive fouled on the third baseline. One ball, one strike to count. Great job going back to that play by Hannah Grace to pick it up on the bunt right in front of the home plate and make the throw to third. I'm not sure if we've got our instant replay working here tonight. We're kind of short we're kind of short staffed in the trailer and found out we do not have instant replay going. Now the one one pitch, swing and a miss. Strike two, one ball, two strikes to count. Runners at first and second, one out. We're in the top of the second. No score in the ball game. Hannah Gray Simmons working against Vicki Lewis. Now the one-two pitch. Misses inside for a ball. Runner gets a little far off the bag. Alexis runs out towards the pitcher's mound to kind of make sure she's going to freeze there. Don't commit on a throw and give her a base. Runs her back to second base. Now two balls, two strikes with one out. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Good job by Hannah Grace. Got her swinging, and that's the second out of the inning, and that will bring Blake DeRossett to the plate, also a left-handed hitter. First pitch misses outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Runners at first and second, two outs. Strike. Good pitch on the outside corner. Runner goes, throw down, got her. Trying to steal third on the play was Blake McGrew, but a great job catching her by Alexis Bullman throwing down the line to McClendon and getting the out, and that ends the inning. The Missy Gators are getting no runs on two hits, no errors, one left. We played one and a half, no score. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. It's easy to have concerns about your cooling and heating system in the middle of summer, especially when them in the middle of the deep south. My friends at Hermetic Rush Services recommend you let them take away these worries. When you call Hermetic Rush Services at 601-932-7874 for all your residential and commercial cooling and heating needs, you'll feel smarter from the shoulders up and a whole lot more comfortable head to toe. Hermetic Rush Services, where Rush is our middle name. Call them today, 601-932-7874.
Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the bottom of the second inning. No score in the game. Hannah Grace Simmons did a good job of pitching herself out of a jam there in the Vicksburg Missy Gators half of the second. Two leadoff singles, an infield single, then a single up the middle. Got runners at first and second. Nobody out. They tried to sack bunt to move the runners over. Hannah Grace makes a great play, gets the runner out at third for the first out, gets a strikeout for the second out. They tried to steal third, and Alexis Bullman throws it down to Jessica McClendon and records the third and final out, stranding a base runner. And uh, Hannah Grace did a good job of pitching around it, getting out of the inning without giving up any runs. Now we go to the bottom of the second. No score for the Lady Pirates. It's going to be London May, Cameron Smith, and Hannah Grace Simmons. If one of those should reach, Madison Perkins would be the next Lady Pirate hitter to come to the plate. London May hitting 364 on the season, playing right field. First pitch, misses low for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Tomorrow night, we'll be back on the air here. It's a 6 o'clock first pitch. I think originally we had said 5. I know my promo on the radio TV says 5. Uh, it's 6 o'clock first pitch. We'll go on the air at 5.30. Pitch misses low and in ball two. As the Pirates will be playing the Wingfield Falcons, that game at Level Woods Park over in Jackson. Come on over to Level Woods and support the Pirates. But if you can't make it, tune in right here on PMB TV 18 or WPBP 104.5 FM the Pirate for all of the action. 2-0 pitch at the knees for a call strike. Two balls, one strike to count. I'll be joined tomorrow night by Jay Fletcher on the broadcast with me. Saturday we'll be back on the air. We're here at Pirate Park at 2 o'clock. We'll go on the air at 1.30. Ground ball fouled on the first baseline. And Bryant May will join me Saturday as we will play North Forest. That's uh, out of Hattiesburg. That's Forest County, not North Forest, Forest, Mississippi. So, but I, they'll be playing them Saturday. Junior high, I mean, JV at noon, varsity at 2. Next Saturday, a change in time as well. I'll give you that in just a moment. That pitch misses low for ball three. We're playing Presbyterian Christian in a doubleheader next Saturday, varsity doubleheader. 12 and 2 with the scheduled times. It's been pushed back an hours, 1 and 3 for those two game times. Line drive into right field, a base hit for London May. Right fielder McGrew is going to pick it up and get it in. May will stop it first. That's the first hit for the Lady Pirates. And that will bring Cameron Smith to the plate, first baseman. But, again, mark that down. Saturday the 16th. That's right. Yeah, Saturday the 16th. Pirates will return from spring break. And they will be hosting Presbyterian Christian, a varsity doubleheader, First game will begin at 1 o'clock. The second game will be immediately following that first game. They'll take probably a 20, 30-minute break, get a pitcher warmed up, reset the field, and turn around and play again. We'll bring you both of those games here on the Pirate Media Network, so make sure and tune in for that. Pitch misses low for a ball to Cameron Smith. May is at first base. First hit for the Pirates, first base runner for the Pirates. And they're half the first, one, two, three. A pop-up to second, ground to second. Fly out to left, swings and misses. One ball, one strike to count to Cameron Smith. At the knees for a call strike. One ball, two strikes to count. Runner at first base is London May. Cameron Smith trying to advance the runner, get her to scoring position at least. Pitch misses up for a ball. Two balls, two strikes to count. Pretty good crowd came out here this evening. Got junior high baseball going on behind us. Foul ball. That one again heads to the practice field for football. Down the hill behind the first base dugout. There's some bleachers beside it. Then behind the bleachers, it's a deep gully. Is what I call it, a bar ditch is what my granddaddy would call something like that. Ground ball left side, picked up by the third baseman. She's going to throw to first and get the out. Might have rolled foul had she let it go. 
But she picks it up, throws it a throw across the diamond, records the out. London May will advance to second on the play. And Hannah Gray Simmons will come to the plate with a runner at second base, one out here in the bottom of the second. But beyond that big ditch, that's where the fence is going to the football practice field, the grass practice field. First pitch to Hannah Grace up and away for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0 pitch. Outside, ball two. Two balls, no strikes to count. Swings and misses. Off speed pitch. Count goes two balls, one strike. Now the 2 1 delivery. Low ball three. Three and one to count to Hannah Grace Simmons. Hannah Grace hitting 273 on the season. Now the 3 1 delivery. Popped up, foul out of play directly behind home plate. Count goes full to Hannah Grace. Coach Yoakum directing her outfield just a little bit. Actually, I think we're needing some more softballs. And Coach Parnell's rubbing one up a little bit, tosses it out to the pitcher. Quite a few foul balls, and somebody's got to be back there chasing those balls down. Now the 3-1 pitch. High ball four. Hannah Grace works the walk. And that'll put runners at first and second with one out. See if we're going to get a runner for Hannah Grace or they're going to run for herself. Looks like she's going to run for herself right now. Madison Perkins steps to the batter's box. Madison has four RBI on the season. And she bats with runners at first and second with one out here in the bottom of the second. No score in the ball game. Madison hitting 300. Shows bunt. Butts it, and the catcher makes a great play to catch it. Throws down to first to double off the runner. And we've got a runner hung up at second, still getting it away, and they're going to all get back, thankfully. It was a little pop-up. It just barely got above the waist even of Madison Perkins. The catcher makes a great play on it. That's DeRossett. Throws down to first. First baseman couldn't handle it. Gets in the right field. The base runner from second had to get back. She's able to get back just barely, but then the ball came in wide anyway, so the Pirates dodged a bullet there, keeping from having the double play. It's two out, so, for Jessica McClendon. First pitch to Jessica's in for a call strike. Jessica's first at bat this season. According to the stats I'm looking at on Max Preps for the Lady Pirates. Now the 0-1 pitch, low for a ball. One ball, one strike to count. Now the 1-1 pitch, swings and misses. Strike two, one ball, two strikes to count. Two outs, we're in the bottom of the second. Two runners on, nobody has crossed the plate for either team thus far. Now the one-two pitch, swings and misses, strike three. And just like Hannah Grace did at the top of the second with runners on base, she's able to pitch her way out of it. That's exactly what Thomas does in the bottom of the second. We've played two, no score, back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. When the world looks for truth, Broadcasters come through, even when all else fails. Today, with more ways than ever to experience the moments that transform our lives, Americans still choose broadcast television and radio more than all other media combined. Television and radio are still the most trusted sources for news and entertainment. And our web and social sites are among the most visited sites in our daily lives. When important moments happen, both big and small, we're the first informers to history. We are the pioneers, the innovators, the local broadcasters of radio and television. 
reaching more people, touching more lives. Welcome back to Pro Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the third inning. No score in the ball game. Right now I've got uh, Dr. Lundy Brantley standing here to my left and going to get a word with him. Uh, many of you probably have heard, I don't know if it's been broadcast a lot, but Woody Barnett, after many, many years as athletic director here at Pearl High School, is deciding to retire and uh, the board accepted his retirement. They've announced just recently the new athletic director, and I'm going to let Dr. Lundy Brantley tell us who that new athletic director is going to be. Our new AD is going to be Mr. Richard Smithart. Uh, Mr. Smithart is no stranger to Pearl. Uh, he's been here for quite some time in the assistant principal's position. Uh, he's going to do a really great job. Top of the third has Blake DeRossett trying to hit that little running pitch and fouls it off. Uh, Mr. Smithart, of course, as you said, has been here for a long time. He's a, he's a, a sports person. Uh, I know he loves football, basketball. He's at all the games and, and loves to be there. Uh, your thoughts on him taking over as the athletic director? Well, I think, uh, you know, Richard has a great vision for our program. I think he's going to do a really great job of following Woody. Uh, you know, Coach Barnett's been here a long time. He's definitely a, not only a legend in Pearl, but he's a legend, period. And, uh, and that's a tough follow, but I, I think Richard Smithart is the man to do that. Uh, he's got a lot of great ideas upcoming for uh, the next few years for our sports programs, and uh, we only see him continuing to build on what Coach Barnett's done over the past few years. That pitch to DeRossett was high and outside for a ball. That one's high as well. Two balls, one strike to count. Obviously, uh, anytime somebody leaves, you always look at programs. Where are they? What have they done? And obviously, Woody's leaving the way he wanted to. He, the programs right. are where they needed to be. Uh, he's got, uh, of course, a track that he coached himself for many, many years. Is second to none as that ball's fouled off. Uh, football, great facilities, great program. A lot of new things coming up about football that we'll talk about at a later date. Uh, but a lot of great things going on around right. athletics all the way around. So Woody Barnett has done a tremendous job Absolutely. here at Pearl High School. Absolutely. Uh, and will be celebrated in his leaving and, and yes. not one of those you're glad to see somebody exactly. go. Exactly. You know, Woody, uh, uh, I've really, of course, I've known of Woody for years. You know, we all know who he is. But over this past year, my first year here, uh, I've gotten to know Coach Barnett and become really good friends. He's a tremendous man. And as you said, he's not one that you want to leave. You know, you want him to stay. But, uh, you know, he's got an awesome opportunity to retire and do some things that he'd like to be doing. Little soft pop up to third base, fielded and played there by McClendon, record the first out of the inning. And that will bring to the plate Paige Bowser. She grounded out to second or first at bat. And of course, if I know Woody, he's going to retire, uh, but he won't be working here. But if I know Woody, we'll still see a lot oh, of Woody see Barnett. Woody a lot. We're going to see Coach Barnett a lot. We, <laughs> we're going to make we're going to make sure we see him because we're going to harass him and make him come up here because he knows if he's not here, we're going to talk about him. That's right. Because we want to wait till he leaves to talk about him. So he's going to make sure he hangs around. We we all have a great, great, great working relationship together. We give each other a hard time. We support each other and. Uh, we're going, we're going to expect to see Woody Barnett around here. Now, Dr. Randy, when is all this official? Is it the end of the season, end of the school years, and when does all this take place? Right. Uh, coaches, uh, Coach Barnett's retirement will take effect uh, June 30th okay. uh, at the end of his contract, and then uh, Mr. Smithart will officially take over the duties July 1. But, you know, they're working together right sure. now and, and working to, to make a very smooth transition. Which is a great way to do that. Obviously, you know, you could wait to June 30th and say, all right, here's the keys. Now it's yours. Have fun. Yeah, uh, but, but knowing the way Woody is and, and Mr. Smithart, that I see them now for the next three months, four months, uh, shadowing a lot. Absolutely. I would imagine. And so that it is a smooth transition. Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, one thing I told Mr. Smithart, Mr. Smithart, of course, is our – 10th grade principal, and uh, I told him, you know, as long as he's keeping up with his discipline there, I would like for him to be with Woody as much as possible uh, to learn, you know, the system and, uh, you know, kind of get his feet wet and get to ask those first-year questions right now, you know, instead of, you know, this time next year. Uh, <laughs> you know, we don't want to have – we won't want to do that now. We want to get all the, the rust out of the way right now. Now, and I may be jumping the gun. It's not <laughs> something I prepped you that I was going to ask you this, mm -hmm. but Mr. Smith Hart's a 10th grade principal. He's one mm -hmm. of the administrators here. Obviously, you'll have to fill his position. Is that something that a process is started uh where are you with that we're somewhat in the process we're looking at a couple of different candidates uh you know it, it will it will not be hard for us to find somebody to come to pearl <laughs> i can tell you that uh, it's a great place uh but uh, we've got a couple in mind and uh hopefully within a month maybe okay. we should have somebody uh pretty solid in that spot so uh the uh, it'll definitely be somebody that's really good and and following mr smith is going to be sure. tough he you know, he, he deals really well with people. Um, you know, he knows his stuff, does a really good job. So that person's going to have something to feel also. Call strike three to Paige Bowser. And Hannah Gray Simmons gets the second out of the inning on a call strikeout. And that'll bring Tori Daniels, a shortstop. She grounded out to second her last time up. Uh, Dr. Brantley, uh, 
exciting times, and I, you talk about it every week in your uh, minute, school minute. Uh, it's a great day to be a Pirate. There's it's exciting times day. going on here at Pearl That's High right. School. That's right. Looking forward to even more. That Pirate Pride, you know, we talked about <laughs> the baseball game. Yep. Uh, you know, what do you think about uh, everything that's been going on? I said two words, you know, Pirate Pride. That's what it's all about. That's and, uh, it. It's always a great day to be a Pearl Pirate. Great. Dr. Bradley, thanks so much for Thank joining Thank you, me. DP. All right, Thank you for got all it. you do for us. You got it. I love it. There was Dr. Lundy Brantley, principal here at Pearl High School, and, again, uh, a super guy. I've had a chance to get to know him a pretty good bit this past year, his first year here. Uh, met him when he first came early on, and he's just a, a tremendous man to begin with, a great administrator, a great supporter of everything that goes on here at Pearl High School. There's a soft fly ball foul down the left field line. Uh, and just really exciting to get him and, and keep updated about what's going on here. Uh, and, again, congratulations to uh, Mr. Smithart. Uh, will be the new athletic director, effective July 1. Uh, and also congratulations, Woody Barnett, uh, a tremendous uh, man himself, uh, was named a pillar of the community last year by the Chamber of Commerce here in the city of Pearl. He's been a national athletic director of the year and coach, track coach of the year. And I mean, if there's an award to be had in track or an athletic director in high school, I think Woody's got it. And uh, it may take him six months, uh, these four months, just to forget to pack up all his trophies and move him out of the athletic office here at Pearl High School. Uh, but anyway, so congratulations, Woody. Great job. And glad to say I got to work with you a few years here uh, before you retired. Looking forward to Mr. Smith Hart coming in and taking over. Torrey Daniels at the plate. Two balls, two strikes to count. We're in the top of the third. Two outs. No score still in the ball game. The Lady Pirates taking on the Missy Gators from Vicksburg. Now Hannah Gray Simmons settled in for the 2-2 pitch. Misses inside. Ball three. Real close to hitting Torrey, but she dodged it. Make sure and tune in for our baseball game Saturday. Maybe Mr. Smith, I've seen him at most of the baseball games. If he's there, I'll try to grab him and stick a microphone in his face and talk with him. Hannah Grace surrenders the walk, her second walk of the ball game, and that'll bring Faith Thomas to the plate. She walked her last time up. But if we can, let's say we'll try to grab Mr. Smith Hart uh, at, a, at a broadcast in the near future. So just stay tuned at all of our broadcasts, and we'll get a word with him and get his thoughts on coming in as the new athletic director. Now Faith Thomas, first pitch, call strike. Looks in for the sign. Now the pitch. It's going to miss high. Runner got a pretty good lead taking off from first base. But Alexis just throws it back to Hannah Grace. One ball, one strike to count. Cooling down a little bit as the sun begins to set. The entire field except a sliver down the right field line in the shadows. Popped up right side. It's going to get out over the fence and in the bleachers to the right side of home plate. Count goes one ball, two strikes. Fan from Vicksburg picks it up, tosses it back over the fence to Alexis, who relays, relays it back to her pitcher. Now the one-two pitch for Faith Thomas. Swung on, grounded to the third baseman. Picked up, throw across to first in time to get the out. Good play by McClendon to Smith and records the third and final out. And once again, the Missy Gators will strand a base runner. We've played two and a half, no score from Lady Pirate Park. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. Serving Mississippi since 1967, Mississippi Bonding Company is prepared to help in your time of need. Our agents are the quickest, most efficient, and most educated bail bonds agents in the area. We use state-of-the-art computer equipment and services to process all applications, credit cards, and deliver the necessary documents to get your friends and family released as quickly as possible. All jails, all courts, statewide and nationwide service, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In trouble? Call Mississippi Bonding Company right now and let our professional agents help. Harvey's Fish Hut is located on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road in Pearl, Mississippi. Harvey's prides itself on having the best fried catfish in the metro area, as well as tasty pan trout. 
Harvey's Fish Hut only serves quality Mississippi farm-raised catfish. Dine-in or carry-out, Harvey's Fish Hut is always served hot and fresh, open Monday through Saturday for both lunch and dinner. So stop by and see Willie Harvey at Harvey's Fish Hut on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road or call to place your order at 601-939-6262. 601-939-6262. Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the bottom of the third. No score, no runs on two hits, no errors for the Missy Gators. They've stranded three base runners for the Lady Pirates. No runs on one hit and no errors. They stranded two base runners. The Missy Gators are 0 for 1 with runners in scoring position. Lady Pirates are 0 for 2. So far, it's been the pitcher's battle. The Hannah Grace has walked two and struck out two. Thomas for the Missy Gators has walked one and struck out one. First pitch, low and in the dirt to Melissa Keebler. One ball, no strikes to count. Keebler's first at bat today. She's batting 100 on the season. Ten at bats. She's got one hit. She scored two runs. Been hit once. Takes a strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strike to count. I see fans with blankets around. I'm going to be wishing I brought me a blanket for too long. Now the 0-2 pitch. Grounded to the right side. Picked up by the first baseman. Tossed to second. She drops the ball. And that's going to be an error on the Missy Gators. And the error is going to have to be on the second base. A nice little underhanded toss, and she just dropped it. So the Lady Pirates get a base runner on the error, and that will bring Shelby Miller to the plate, center fielder. First pitch, swings and misses, strike one. No balls, one strike to count. Popped up to second base, her first at bat did Shelby. He's now hitting 385 on the season, 0 for 1 today. Now the pitch, she shows bunt, misses it, strike. Throw down as the runner was going, applies the tag, but she's going to be safe. I think it was a strike. I think, I don't know if she pulled back or not. It is a strike. She didn't pull the bat back. If Keebler goes down to second. She'll get a stolen base. Now the 0-2 pitch hits softly into the air, left, right side, but over the head of the second baseman in the shallow right field. Runner's going to advance. Throw goes to third, and great base running by Shelby Miller. She'll get a single on the play. She'll, uh, Melissa Keebler goes to third on the throw coming in. Miller advances to second. Heads up base running, and that gets the Pirates with two runners in scoring position for Alexis Bullman. Alexis grounded out to second, her first at bat. Now she's got runners at second and third. Nobody out. Foul ball over the first base dugout and out of play. No balls, one strike to count. Pirates trying to get on the board first here against the Missy Gators. Now the 0 1 pitch. Misses low for a ball. One ball, one strike to count. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch, fouled off on an inside pitch. One that almost would have hit her had she not swung. Just backed up a little bit. I think it would have been inside. Looked close over there, but she tries to fight it off and fouls it off. One ball, two strikes to count to Alexis Bullman. She'll step back in, ready to go. Now the pitch, misses low for a ball, two and two to count. Caitlin Harvey in the on-deck circle, awaiting her chance to bat. Runners at second and third again with nobody out. An error on the second baseman covering first on a ball hit to the first base side. 2-2 pitch popped up in the air. Right field should be enough for a sack fly. Right fielder's going to field it. Here comes the run. Here comes the throw. And safe at the plate on the sack fly to right field. Good job by Alexis Bullman. To get it out there, Keebler with a great job getting to the plate. Miller advances to third on the play, and the Pirates take a lead, one to nothing here in the bottom of the third. Caitlin Harvey coming to the plate with Shelby Miller down at third base. Coach Purnell getting a softball ready to hand to the home plate umpire. He'll place it in his pouch on his right hip. Now we're ready to go again. 
Runner at third, one out. Caitlin Harvey at the plate. Flew out to left her first at bat. She could do that again. We'd get another run in. She's going to try to bunt the run in. Pitcher's going to pick it up. Got the runner hung up. Throw to the catcher. Drops the ball. She's safe. And Harvey goes down to second base. Great job by the Lady Pirates. Get away with one on the error by the Missy Gators. It's going to be a, another sack fielder's choice. Caitlin Harvey. The run will score, and Harvey goes down to second on the throw. Now London May steps in with a runner down at second base. Low for a ball, one ball, no strikes to count. Ground ball, left side, foul. One, one pitch, foul ball, one ball, two strikes to count. That pitch misses high for a ball. Two and two the count to London May. She singled her first at bat. London May could try to pick up a single here. The Pirates could potentially score another run with Caitlin Harvey standing at second base. Lead two to nothing. High and away, ball three. Three balls, two strikes to count to London May. London hitting 417. Tied for the team lead in RBI with four. Now the 3-2 pitch. High, ball four. London draws the walk and puts runners at first and second for Cameron Smith. Cameron grounded out to third, her first at bat. May at first, Caitlin Harvey at second. Now the first pitch, low for a ball, 1-0 the count. Coach Purnell with a word of encouragement to Cameron Smith. Now the pitch. High ball two, two and oh the count. Timeout call by the Missy Gators as DeRossett wants to go out and talk to Faith Thomas. So she jogs out to the pitcher's mound. Or the circle, excuse me, the pitcher's circle in softball. Has a word with her pitcher. Just try to settle her down, get her. Find that strike zone again. It's five straight balls that she's thrown. The last three pitches that she threw to London May were out of the strike zone. First two here. So trying to get her settled in and throwing strikes again. Now we're ready to go in the pitch. Swings and misses. Whatever she said, it worked. Got that one right down the plate. Two balls, one strike to count. Now to Cameron Smith. How the 2-1 delivery swings and misses on the inside part of the plate. Count goes 2-2. Now the 2-2 pitch. In for a call, strike three. So whatever DeRossett said to her work, because she came back and threw three straight pitches in the strike zone, two missed swings. And then a call, third strike. Now with two outs, Hannah Gray Simmons comes to the plate. Chance to help herself out with the runner at second base. Now the pitch popped up on the infield. Thomas calls for Smith. Thomas calls for it and drops it. Run, Caitlin Harvey's going to come all the way to the plate. Faith Thomas just flat missed that. She was standing there waiting on it and just didn't catch it. The other runners were not running as hard as Caitlin Harvey was. So Harvey will score. Everybody else just goes up one base. London May stops at second. Hannah Grace at first. But now it's three to nothing for the Lady Pirates. 
That pitch to Madison Perkins misses for ball one. 1-0 one the count. Second error, third error committed by the Missy Gators in this inning. Pirates have scored the three runs on one hit. But three errors. Swing and a miss. Strike one to Madison Perkins. She popped up to the catcher her first at bat. Trying to lay down a bunt. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Misses inside for a ball. Two balls, one strike to count. Now the 2-1 pitch. Call strike at the knees, 2-2. Two and two. Again, a beautiful sunset coming up here at Lady Pirate Park. Just a little bit of sun hitting the tops of the trees beyond right field is all we can see left. 2-2 two -two pitch, swings and misses, strike three, and that ends the inning. But not before the Lady Pirates scored three runs on one hit, three errors, two men left on base. We've played three, and the Pirates lead three to nothing. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. The Mississippi Braves. Mississippi Braves 2013 baseball season is right around the corner. Don't miss all the excitement and action when the regular season begins on Thursday, April 4th. There's still some great seat locations for season tickets for all 70 home games or other ticket packages. Call the Trustmark Park box office at 888-BRAVES-4 or stop by the ballpark box office and reserve your season tickets, ticket packages, or individual game tickets right away. Opening night, April 4th, sponsored by the Mississippi Army National Guard. Make it every game. Pearl Stamp and Sign is now Sign Mart. Our name has changed, but not our great service. For over 20 years, we have been your number one hometown retailer in custom stamps, signage, and marketing products. Now we are growing and want to take you with us. Whether you have an event, starting a new business, or wish to expand your existing business, Sign Mart is committed to helping you meet your design and marketing needs. Come see the friendly staff at Sign Mart on Pearson Road in Pearl and make your mark in the business world. Welcome back to Pearl Pirates Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the fourth inning with the Lady Pirates now leading three to nothing after picking up three runs there in the top of the fourth inning. Again, no earned runs. The leadoff batter reached on an error. There was a sack fly a couple of batters later. And then another throwing error and another catching error. So three runs scored, but no earned runs. But, hey, the Pirates don't matter what they call earned or unearned. They just want them across the plate. Sydney Bufkin steps in. She'll be followed by Courtney Newman and Brooke McGrew. Facing Hannah Gray Simmons here in the top of the fourth. Now the first pitch. Misses just low for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Pitch misses for ball two. Two balls the, the count. Two balls, no strikes. Now the 2-0 pitch. Swings and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Two one pitch grounded foul down the third baseline. Count goes two two. Tell us, according to the weatherman, it's supposed to turn springtime almost this weekend. Was for the I think first time we've seen with sunshine anyway. Highs in the 70s on Saturday and Sunday. Two two pitch, just misses for ball three three and two the count. So it ought to be perfect for baseball Saturday afternoon with a 2 o'clock varsity start. We ought to see a packed house in the stands at Pearl High School here at Pirate Park. So make sure and make your plans to come out and support the Pirates. Ground ball, foul, third baseline again. I plan to take advantage of the weather and get a little golf in this weekend around baseball games. If I can get the rust off my clubs, 
They haven't been used in a while. Cobwebs are probably taking over. 3-2 pitch. Popped up back here to the screen. Count remains full. Now three two pitch. Low and in, ball four. Gonna, Hannah Grace running over to take off her sunglasses as Courtney Newman comes in. Let's see we're having some issues with our crowd, Michael. I just switched them from three to two on our plug in. We'll see if that makes any difference. Of course, <clears throat> the ball that hit hit well above it <clears throat> on a separate set of fencing, so maybe it just missed the sound on it. Tried to bunt it, goes foul. No balls, one strike to count to Courtney Newman. Ball swung on and missed. Gets away from the catcher, and the runner will advance. It'll be a two strikes, but Buffkin will go down to second. Now the 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. Count remains, no balls, two strikes. One ball, two strikes to count to Courtney Newman. She singled her first at bat. Call strike three. Good pitch. Took a little off of it and just froze Newman. And a call strike. That's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring to the plate Brooke McGrew. Now the first pitch to McGrew. She singled her first at bat. Rounds this one fouled to the third base dugout. No balls, one strike to count. Anna Grace getting the sign. Now she's ready for the pitch. Balls hit hard down the left field line, but hooking foul and out of play. Count goes no balls, two strikes. Now they're ready for the 0-2 pitch to Brooke McGrew. Is Hannah Grace ready? He's runner at second, misses low. Runner is going to head to third, throw down, not in time. As Buffkin advances on the wild pitch. Now with a one ball, two strike count. Two pitch popped up right into the hands of a Pearl Pirate fan right behind the fence. Count remains one ball, two strikes. (laughs) 
Now the one-two delivery. Hannah Grace ready and delivers. Ground ball left side, picked up by third base, throw to first. Tag the runner out, throw to the plate, and not in time. The runner will score. The base runner was out at first. <clears throat> but Bufkin coming off the bags, able to score on the play. Be two outs. But now it's a 3-1 ball game as the Missy Gators get their first run of the game. Clean the plate off after the play at the plate. Morgan Callender steps in. Reads on a fielder's choice, her first at bat. Now she'll bat with nobody on base. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Now the first pitch coming from Hannah Grace. Popped up, left side. Caught in foul territory by McClendon to record the third and final out but not before the Missy Gators get one run on no hits, no errors, nobody left on. We've played three and a half. Pearl leads three to one. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. In times of joy, in moments of grief, we are there. When the world looks for truth, broadcasters come through, even when all else fails. Today, with more ways than ever to experience the moments that transform our lives, Americans still choose broadcast television and radio more than all other media combined. We are the local broadcasters of radio and television. It's easy to have concerns about your cooling and heating system in the middle of summer, especially when you live in the Deep South. My friends at Hermetic Rush Services recommend you let them take away these worries when you call Hermetic Rush Services at 601-932-7874 for all your residential and commercial cooling and heating needs. You'll feel smarter from the shoulders up and a whole lot more comfortable head to toe. Hermetic Rush Services, where Rush is our middle name. Call them today, 601-932-7874. Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Pirates leading 3-1 to one over the Missy Gators from Vicksburg. Doing a little work on the pitcher's rubber in the middle of the circle. Trying to get it settled in there for Faith Thomas. Now I think she says it's okay. She completes her warm-up tosses. Took a little bit longer to get those done because she had a little work on this. Again, a little work on that pitcher's rubber. Now we're about ready to go. For the Lady Pirates, it'll be bottom of the order, Jessica McClendon, followed by Melissa Keebler, and then top of the order, Shelby Miller. And if one of those should reach, Alexis Bullman, the scheduled hitters for the Lady Pirates. Now Jessica McClendon steps in. She struck out her first at bat. Takes that first pitch outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. That one's fouled off. Count goes one ball, one strike. Rounded foul down the third baseline. Count goes one and two. Pitch misses low for a ball. Two and two the count to Jessica McClendon. Jessica still looking for her first base hit this season. Swings and misses. And she'll go down on strikes. That'll be the first out of the inning. That'll bring Melissa Keebler, second baseman, to the plate. Your batter is second baseman, number five, Melissa Keebler. Oh. 
She'll take the first pitch just low and in for a ball. Melissa reached on an error her first at bat. Ground ball to first base. First baseman picked it up, underhanded it. Nice little soft toss to the second baseman. Covering the bag at first, and she couldn't hold on to it. Dropped it, so we charge the error to the second baseman on the ground out to first. At least I did in my book, how the official book will look. It's somebody else's fi job to figure that out. Two balls, one strike to count. We're in the bottom of the fourth of a three-to-one game. Pirates in the lead. Swing and a miss, strike two, two and two to Melissa Keebler. Now the 2-2 pitch. Call strike three at the knees. Keebler goes down looking. Two outs in the inning now for Shelby Miller, top of the order. Shelby plays center field for the Lady Pirates. Now first pitch in for a call strike. No balls, one strike to count. Now the 0-1 pitch, swings and misses at a changeup. Count goes 0-2 to Shelby Miller. She popped up to second or first at bat, singled back in the third inning, and scored the second of three runs for the Pirates. She fouls that one down the third baseline. Count remains, no balls, two strikes. Got some fans decided to back their pickups beyond the center field fence on a little hill up there and just watch from there. There's a hard line drive in the right center field. And Miller's going to go past the outfielder. Shelby rounds first, heading for second. She's going to round second. Here comes the throw to third. Shelby's going to slide in safe at third base. A two-out triple by Shelby Miller all the way to the fence in right center field. And the Lady Pirates get a runner at third base with two outs for Alexis Bullman. Base hit by Shelby Miller brings up number 44, your catcher. Alexis, Alexis grounded out to second or first at bat. Had a sack fly to right back in the third inning. Picked up an RBI. Now her first pitch. Catches the outside corner for a call strike. No balls, one strike to count. Now the 0-1 pitch, soft fly ball, right field, trouble, and caught by the second baseman. Bowser makes a great play to get over. I thought it might fall in behind the first baseman, but Bowser gets there, makes a catch, records a third and final out to Pirates. No runs on one hit, no errors, one left. We played four, Pirates lead 3-1, to one. back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. DeSalvo's is a fun place where friends become family. DeSalvo's, delicious Italian food. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Try DeSalvo's for dinner tonight. With portions so big, you'll be eating DeSalvo's again for lunch tomorrow. You'll never go hungry at DeSalvo's. DeSalvo's, Highway 80 East at College Crossing in Pearl. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Delicious Italian food. The Mississippi Braves. Mississippi Braves 2013 baseball season is right around the corner. Don't miss all the excitement and action when the regular season begins on Thursday, April 4th. There's still some great seat locations for season tickets for all 70 home games or other ticket packages. Call the Trustmark Park box office at 888-BRAVES-4 or stop by the ballpark box office and reserve your season tickets, ticket packages, or individual game tickets right away. Opening night, April 4th, sponsored by the Mississippi Army National Guard. Make it every game. Welcome back to Pearl Pirates Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the top of the fifth inning with the Lady Pirates leading the Missy Gators from Vicksburg by a score of 3-1. to one. Leading off the top of the fifth. Be the, the bottom of the order for the Missy Gators, Vicki Lewis, Lewis, Blake DeRossett, and then top of the order, Paige Bowser, scheduled to face Hannah Gray Simmons here in the top of the fifth. Now the first pitch, swung and fouled off. Again, temperature dropping a little bit as the sun has set. But a 
beautiful evening. March the 7th here in Pearl, Mississippi. You can't beat it. Good Mississippi weather. Inside, ball one, one and one to count. Of course, we also get tornadoes and hurricanes, and we played baseball in the sleet and snow last Saturday, but the 60, 70 degrees that we're getting, the, we'll have for the next six weeks or so is what we, what we love about here. Now the one-one pitch. I'm scared to complain much about it because the, the cold, because usually about mid-July as I'm trying to play golf in the heat, I'm complaining, wishing it would cool off a little bit, so. I try not to complain about either one. Weather's weather. Now the 2-1 pitch. Base hit over the head of Kaitlin Harvey at shortstop into left center field. Vicki Lewis gets a single, puts a runner at first base with nobody out for Blake DeRossett, the catcher. She popped up to third base, her first at bat. Timeout call. We got a headlights on by a car out in beyond center field. Got some lights on. Try to get the word to them because it's blinding the batter, the catcher, and the umpire. Get someone to get them to turn the lights off. Now we got an announcement by a public address announcer telling them to turn off the lights. There we go. Now we can get back to softball. And when that car was positioned, it would have been a, a tough way to play for the catcher and the hitter and the umpire. Now the pitch, showing bunt, missing, and runner's going to go down on the pitch. It'll be a ball. That puts a runner in scoring position for the Missy Gators. Now the 0-1 pitch to DeRossett. Misses low for ball two. Two balls, no strikes to count. And again, Lewis will go down, advance another base on the pitch. Wild pitch down in the dirt by Hannah Gray Simmons. Now the 2-0 delivery. Grounded foul down the third baseline. Just barely tried a little slap hit. Down the third baseline, and it just does go foul before it gets to the bag. She fouls that one off. Count goes two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here in the top of the fifth. Missy Gators trying to threaten to close the gap. Another one fouled off. First two pitchers were missing low for balls, and those last three in a row have been fouled off by Blake DeRossett. Left-handed hitter, she catches right-handed for the Missy Gators. Now Hannah Grace ready for the 2-2 pitch once again. Missing up for a ball, three balls, two strikes to count. Now the 3-2 pitch, runner at third. Poked over the third baseman into fair territory down the left field line. Scoring easily will be Lewis. DeRossett will go into second base with a stand-up double. And the Missy Gators have closed it to a one-run game. And the top of the order coming to the plate in Paige Bowser. Score now 3-2. That's the fourth hit of the ball game for the Missy Gators. Bowser grounded out to second in the first, struck out looking in the third. Now the first pitch, 
She bunts it right out in front of the plate. No throw to third, and there's everybody's going to be safe all the way around on the bunt. Just no play. We're going to give her the bunt signal on that. I'm not sure what happened with Alexis throwing it down to third. She third baseman had come in short. Maybe Caitlin wasn't there yet to make the play. Now runners at the corners with nobody out here in the top of the fifth. Ground ball left side. Caitlin Harvey picks it up, touches second, throw to first. And got her, double play. Base umpire said that she made the scoop at first. Great job by Cameron Smith. It'll be a double play from short to first. The run's going to score. Bowser's going to be out. But, and Coach is going to go talk to the base umpire about that play. Great job by Caitlin Harvey. Great scoop at first by Cameron Smith. I had to wait and make sure the call was made, but the base umpire says she came up with it. Missy Gator coach is questioning the call. Don't expect to see an umpire change his call on that. And she's pleaded her case, and now she's heading back over to the third base coaching box. A run scored. It tied the game at three, but now there are two outs. And stepping to the batter's box, Faith Thomas, the pitcher. The batter's number three, Faith Thomas. First pitch fouled off. No balls, one strike to count. Now the 0-1 pitch. Chopped foul at the plate. Count goes no balls, two strikes. No balls, two strikes to... Thomas at the plate, Hannah Grace's pitch. Misses up for a ball, one ball, two strikes. Now the one-two pitch popped up back here to the screen. Count remains, one ball, two strikes. Tip, count remains one, two. Now the one, two delivery once again. Call strike three on the outside part of the plate. And that ends the inning, but not before the Missy Gators score two runs on three hits. No errors, nobody left on. We've played four and a half, and we're tied at three. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. Harvey's Fish Hut is located on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road in Pearl, Mississippi. Harvey's prides itself on having the best fried catfish in the metro area, as well as tasty pan trout. Harvey's Fish Hut only serves quality Mississippi farm-raised catfish. Dine-in or carry-out, Harvey's Fish Hut is always served hot and fresh, open Monday through Saturday for both lunch and dinner. So stop by and see Willie Harvey at Harvey's Fish Hut on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road or call to place your order at 601-939-6262. 601-939-6262. DeSalvo's is a fun place where friends become family. DeSalvo's, delicious Italian food. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Try DeSalvo's for dinner tonight. With portions so big, you'll be eating DeSalvo's again for lunch tomorrow. You'll never go hungry at DeSalvo's. DeSalvo's, Highway 80 East at College Crossing in Pearl. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Delicious Italian food. 
Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. As we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, it's now tie game at three. Pirates had scored three in the bottom of the third, gave up one in the top of the fourth, and then two more in the top of the fifth. Now Caitlin Harvey will lead off the bottom of the fifth for the Pirates. She'll be followed by London May, Cameron Smith, and then if one of those should reach, it'd be Hannah Gray Simmons. First pitch, call strike. She tried to check her swing. It may have got her on the check swing. There's a line drive over the head of the second baseman into right field for a base hit for Caitlin Harvey. That'll bring London May to the plate. Base hit for Caitlin Harvey brings up number two, your right fielder, London May. Now the first pitch to London. Just misses low and away for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. High and away, ball two. Throw down behind Caitlin. She gets back into first in plenty of time. Call strike, one ball, one strike now to go with those two balls. Make sure and stay tuned following our game. We'll have a post-game show. We'll talk to head coach Leanne Purnell. Ground ball right side. First baseman's going to pick it up and touch the bag to get that out. Caitlin Harvey will advance easily on the play, but that gets a runner at second base in scoring position for the Lady Pirates, and that'll bring Cameron Smith to the plate. If the Pirates are able to regain and win the ball game, regain the lead and win the game, we'll talk to a player. We'll name a PMN player of the game. We only talk to a player, though, after a win. We'll talk to Coach Purnell regardless. Make sure and stay tuned for that. Top of the, uh, Bottom of the fifth inning, tied at three. Ground ball foul, first base side. Count goes one ball, one strike. Lights completely taking over the field now. As the sun is set, it's past dusk. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes to count to Cameron Smith. She grounded out to third in the second, struck out looking in the third. She could get a base hit now with Caitlin Harvey Speed down at second base. Caitlin could very well score. That pitch misses high for a ball. Count goes two balls, two strikes. Now the 2-2 pitch, foul back here to the screen. Count remains 2-2. Popped up foul, out of play. Out of the 2-2 pitch once again. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got her on strikes. Now Hannah Gray Simmons comes to the plate. Again, Caitlin Harvey down at second base. Bottom of the fifth, Hannah Grace will see if she can deliver that run and give the Lady Pirates the lead once again. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Ground. 
ground ball back towards the pitcher. Thomas picks it up, tosses the first to record the third and final out, and that'll end the inning in the threat. We'll go to the sixth, the bottom, the sixth inning with the score tied at three. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. The Mississippi Braves. The Mississippi Braves 2013 baseball season is right around the corner. Don't miss all the excitement and action when the regular season begins on Thursday, April 4th. There's still some great seat locations for season tickets for all 70 home games or other ticket packages. Call the Trustmark Park box office at 888-BRAVES-4 or stop by the ballpark box office and reserve your season tickets, ticket packages, or individual game tickets right away. Opening night, April 4th, sponsored by the Mississippi Army National Guard. Make it every game. Pearl Stamp and Sign is now Sign Mart. Our name has changed, but not our great service. For over 20 years, we have been your number one hometown retailer in custom stamps, signage, and marketing products. Now we are growing and want to take you with us. Whether you have an event, starting a new business, or wish to expand your existing business, Sign Mart is committed to helping you meet your design and marketing needs. Come see the friendly staff at Sign Mart on Pearson Road in Pearl and make your mark in the business world. Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. Just inform, been informed that two of our Lady Pirate softball players, Tierra Jenkins and Jamia Dixon, uh, neither one are dressed out playing here tonight right now. They also are powerlifters on the powerlifting team here at Pearl High School and were competing today, and they both won their weight class, state championship in their weight class. So congratulations to Tierra Jenkins and Jamia Dixon uh, for winning the state powerlifting for their weight class. So Pearl High School continues to excel in athletics. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Oh, excuse me, the top of the sixth inning. Tied at three. Sydney Bufkin leading off. She'll be followed by Courtney Newman and Brooke McGrew. Foul out of play. Count goes one ball, one strike. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit foul left side once again over the batting cage down the left field line. Out of play, count goes one ball, two strikes to Sidney Bufkin. Three runs on five hits, three errors for the Missy Gators. Three runs on four hits, no errors for the Pearl Pirates. Gators have left three on base. The Pirates have left six on base. Now the one-two pitch from Hannah Grace. Low and in the dirt, ball two. Two balls, two strikes to count. And Lady Pirates' next game will be on March 19th. They will play Vicksburg at Vicksburg. So a long break for them after they finish this game tonight. 2-2 pitch. Popped up right here behind home plate. Out of play. Count remains. Two balls, two strikes. Now the 2-2 delivery once again. Ground ball softly right side, picked up by second base. Throw to first, good job as it goes Keebler to Smith to record the put out. Melissa does a great job of charging that one, picking it up, tossing it over to Cameron Smith to get the out. First out of the inning, and that'll bring Courtney Newman to the plate. Single in the second, struck out looking in the fourth. Now the first pitch, low and in the dirt for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Newman one for two on the game. And the pitch just misses high ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Again, if you're just joining us, our first broadcast, we had planned to do five. We'll look now at four. 
that we plan to bring you here on the Pirate Media Network of Lady Pirate Softball. Ground ball right side, once again picked up and thrown from Keebler to Smith. Good job by Melissa Keebler at second base in this game. She had the first two putouts of the ball game on 4-3 putouts. She's had the first two putouts of this inning on a 4-3 putout. And she's done a good job there at second base. That'll bring Brooke McGrew to the plate. The ball hitter came inside, tailed in too hard, and she's hit by the pitch and will go down to first base with two outs. Our next broadcast, April 2nd. We'll bring you the game as Brandon will play here at 5 o'clock on April the 2nd. We'll bring you that ball game here on the Pirate Media Network. Then we'll play Brookhaven on the 4th. We'll bring you that game as well. And then we're going to travel to Ridgeland on April the 11th and give you the road game against the Titan Lady Titans at Ridgeland. That's going to be the next three we'll do. Low it away for a ball and gets past Alexis Bullman, and McGrew goes down to second base. Morgan Callender at the plate. Reach on a fielder's choice in the second. Fouled out to third in the fourth. Takes that one high and away for a ball. Two balls, no strikes to count. Three balls, no strikes, as that one misses as well. <laughs> Call strike. Don't know if that, I didn't ask coach if that Florence game is a schedule, if they're making up that game. That was one we had planned to do, and it was rained out. I guess depending on when it would be scheduled, depending on the scheduling. I'm being told now she is not going to make it up. Ground ball, Caitlin Harvey can't make the play. It's going to be a single in the left field. Here comes a run to score. Runner's going to head to second and be safe on the throw. So Callender delivers with the RBI single as McGrew scores from second base. And then Callender advances to second on the throw. Heads up base running by her. And that gives the Missy Gators a one-run lead. And Vicki Lewis will come to the batter's box. The batter's going to go to number four, Vicki Lewis. 4-3 now here in the top of the sixth. Lady Pirates trailing for the first time tonight. Now the pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Anna Grace had got off to a great start this inning, getting the first two batters to ground out to second baseman Melissa Keebler. Then she hits McGrew. And McGrew's able to come around and score on the base hit by Callender. Call strike two. Those little things really come back to bite you as a pitcher a lot of times when you make a mistake. She had a wild pitch that actually advanced her to second. Now the 0-2 pitch, high and away for a ball. One ball, two strikes to count. Soft fly ball, Caitlin Harvey moves over, makes the catch and records the final out. But not before the Missy Gators get one run on one hit, no errors, one left. We've played five and a half. Pirates now trail. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. It's easy to have concerns about your cooling and heating system in the middle of summer, especially when you live in the Deep South. My friends at Hermetic Rush Services recommend you let them take away these worries when you call Hermetic Rush Services at 601-932-7874 for all your residential and commercial cooling and heating needs. You'll feel smarter from the shoulders up and a whole lot more comfortable head to toe. 
Hermetic Rush Services, where Rush is our middle name. Call them today, 601-932-7874. In times of joy, in moments of grief, we are there. When the world looks for truth, broadcasters come through, even when all else fails. Today, with more ways than ever to experience the moments that transform our lives, Americans still choose broadcast television and radio more than all other media combined. We are the local broadcasters of radio and television. Welcome back to Pearl Pirates Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Lady Pirates trailing the Missy Gators from Vicksburg by a score of 4-3. to three. I'm DP, your play-by-play -play broadcaster. Perry Lowry down to third base camera, and I think we've had a replacement on the first base camera. Excuse me, replacement on third base. I think Perry Lowry must have left. Alex Hutton, now our camera operator down the third baseline. Alex, no stranger to a camera here at Pearl High School. By default, being as he, that's right, name is familiar to he's the son of Frank Hutton, our executive producer. Alex has been drafted. Ground ball to the shortstop. Hard throw and across the diamond puts Madison Perkins out. Good play by the shortstop, Daniels. First out of the inning, and that'll bring Jessica McClendon to the plate. But Alex has been drafted into duty on numerous occasions here at Pearl High School to run camera. Does a great job. Finished baseball practice and just came right on over here. Joining joining Tyler. Tyler's down on the first base camera. Now the 0-1 pitch. Misses inside for a ball to McClendon. One ball, one strike to count. Jessica's been to the plate twice. Struck out both times swinging. She'll try to fix that here. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Foul straight back here to the screen. Count goes one ball, two strikes. Now the 1-2 pitch. Hit into shallow left center field. Get in for a base hit by Jessica McClendon. She gets her first hit of 2013, a little soft blooper into left center field. Base hit for Jessica McClendon. That'll bring Melissa five. Keebler to the plate. She reached on an error in the third, struck out in the fourth. Now she'll bat here in the sixth with one out. One run game, the Pirates trailing by one. First pitch fouls off right side. No balls, one strike to count. Now the 0-1 pitch, lays it down directly in front of the plate. Catcher's going to pick it up, throw to first, and get the out. Great bunt on the sacrifice bunt. Catcher does a good job of coming up, making the play, and getting the out. Ball just sat in front of the plate and died right there. But now with two outs, you've got a runner at second. And Vicksburg coach wants to talk to her girl, so she's going to go to the mound. Let's take 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. It's easy to have concerns about your cooling and heating system in the middle of summer, especially when you live in the Deep South. My friends at Hermetic Rush Services recommend you let them take away these worries when you call Hermetic Rush Services at 601-932-7874 for all your residential and commercial cooling and heating needs. You'll feel smarter from the shoulders up and a whole lot more comfortable head to toe. Hermetic Rush Services, where Rush is our middle name. Call them today, 601-932-7874. Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. I forgot y'all can see me when I stand up back here and walk around directly behind home plate from that center field camera, but it's getting a little bit chilly out here, and I got to stand up and move around some, try to stir it up. Shelby Miller steps to the box. Two for three tonight, popped up to second, singled and tripled. 
Takes that first pitch low and in for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Shelby could deliver another good base hit here. She could tie the game back up for the Lady Pirates with McClendon down at second base. Out of the 1-0 pitch. Outside, ball two. Two balls, no strikes to count. Here at Lady Pirate Park, I'm not sitting in the press box. The view's not good enough from there. Room-wise, too, we just we just elect to set up right out front. 2-0 pitch, call strike. Right now, I'm kind of regretting, almost wishing I was inside with a little heater in there. But directly behind home plate. Now the 2-1 pitch. Owen in the dirt. Goes all the way to the backstop. McClendon will advance to third. On the wild pitch. Three balls, one strike to count. Tying run at third, low and inside, ball four. Miller will take her base. Puts the go-ahead run at first base. And Alexis Bullman will be coming to the batter's box. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. Pirates trail by one, trying to get that tying run across the plate and set up a go-ahead run. Alexis hitting 364 on the season. She's tonight 0 for 2 with a sack fly. The sack won't work now with two outs. It'll have to be a base hit in order to score the run. Showed bunt. Runner's going to go back. Pitch was a ball as she pulled the bat back. Miller does go down to second on the play. But with that, you put the go-ahead run down scoring position for Bullman. Vicksburg coach questioning whether or not she pulled the bat back. It's Amanda Yoakum, coach for the Missy Gators. Ground ball left side. Third baseman picks it up. Throw across the diamond is low, but scooped out by the first baseman, Newman, and making the catch, and that will end the threat by the Lady Pirates. We've played six. The Lady Pirates trail four to three. Back in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. DeSalvo's is a fun place where friends become family. DeSalvo's, delicious Italian food. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Try DeSalvo's for dinner tonight. With portions so big, you'll be eating DeSalvo's again for lunch tomorrow. You'll never go hungry at DeSalvo's. DeSalvo's, Highway 80 East at College Crossing in Pearl. DeSalvo's Ristorante Italiano. Delicious Italian food. Serving Mississippi since 1967, Mississippi Bonding Company is prepared to help in your time of need. Our agents are the quickest, most efficient, and most educated bail bonds agents in the area. We use state-of-the-art computer equipment and services to process all applications, credit cards, and deliver the necessary documents to get your friends and family released as quickly as possible. All jails, all courts, statewide and nationwide service, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In trouble? Call Mississippi Bonding Company right now and let our professional agents help. Welcome back to Pearl Pirate Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. We're going to the seventh inning, one-run ball game, four to three. Lady Pirates trailing the Missy Gators from Vicksburg High School on what's turned out to be a chilly night tonight. Don't know how accurate these internet readings are, but the one I've got on my computer now says that it's 55 degrees. I'm going to check my weather channel and just kind of see what it says. Uh, but I say it's cold as I'm sitting out here in it. We'll see what the Weather Channel says on the, the trusty iPhone app. It says 54, 53 actually. And all I say is it's cold. Blake DeRossett will lead off the top of the seventh for the Missy Gators. First pitch, takes it for one ball, no strike count. Now the 1-0 pitch. Takes a call strike. Now the 1-1 pitch. High for a ball. Two balls, one strike to count.
Missing high ball three. Three and one to count. Ball four. DeRossett takes the walk. Puts a runner down at first base for Paige Bowser. Got to bring Paige Bowser to the plate. And I just had me some hot chocolate delivered. Thanks to Caitlin Arinder, called in the order. Caitlin, of course, a former athlete here at Pearl High School. Pole vaulter now at Mississippi College. He's on crutches right now, landed wrong in a pit. I didn't understand. Did you break something? What'd you break? Chipped bone in her foot, I guess. Landing wrong in the pit. Pop up, throwing back to Hannah Grace. Throw to first and double play. Attempted to bunt, and Bowser pops it up to Hannah Grace Simmons. She's able to catch it and get DeRossett out on the reverse force down at first base and getting the double play and erasing the base runners. Now there are two outs here in the top of the seventh for Tory Daniels. And at this point, I'm not sure whether to drink this hot chocolate or pour it on me to warm up. I'm going to choose drinking it, warm from the inside out, right? One ball, no strikes account. To Tori Daniels, 0 for 2 with a walk, and she hit into a double play earlier. There's a pop-up going back and making the catch. is coming. Actually, I thought Caitlin Harvey was going to go back and get it, but she backed off and let Shelby Miller coming in make the play. And on the fly out to center, one, two, three, go the Missy Gators here in the seventh. We'll be back at the bottom of the seventh in a moment on the Pirate Media Network. Harvey's Fish Hut is located on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road in Pearl, Mississippi. Harvey's prides itself on having the best fried catfish in the metro area, as well as tasty pan trout. Harvey's Fish Hut only serves quality Mississippi farm-raised catfish. Dine-in or carry-out, Harvey's Fish Hut is always served hot and fresh, open Monday through Saturday for both lunch and dinner. So stop by and see Willie Harvey at Harvey's Fish Hut on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road or call to place your order at 601-939-6262. 601-939-6262. The Mississippi Braves. The Mississippi Braves 2013 baseball season is right around the corner. Don't miss all the excitement and action when the regular season begins on Thursday, April 4th. There's still some great seat locations for season tickets for all 70 home games or other ticket packages. Call the Trustmark Park box office at 888-BRAVES-4 or stop by the ballpark box office and reserve your season tickets, ticket packages, or individual game tickets right away. Opening night, April 4th, sponsored by the Mississippi Army National Guard. Make it every game. Welcome back to Pearl Pirates Softball here on the Pirate Media Network. Three, four, five in the order scheduled for the Lady Pirates. That'll be Caitlin Harvey, London May, and Cameron Smith with the Lady Pirates trailing by one to the Missy Gators from Vicksburg. First pitch to Caitlin, misses outside for a ball. Caitlin's one for two. Flew out to, sent to left in the first. Reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the third. Singled in the fifth. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball, one strike to count. Again, stay tuned. Following the game, we'll get a word with head coach Leanne Purnell. Outside for a ball. Two balls, one strike to count. Now the 2-1 pitch. Fly ball right side, tailing foul. Right fielder was coming hard, McGrew, but she didn't have time to get there. Also heading fart was Bowser, the second baseman. But lands in foul territory safely. It'll go 2-2 now to Caitlin Harvey. Swings and misses at a pitch that was probably off the plate. Very well could have been ball three, but not able to hold up on it. Now with one out, London May will come to the plate. London's one for two. A single, a walk. Ground out back to the first baseman. The batter is number two, London May. 
First pitch misses a little inside for a ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0 pitch. Call strike on the inside half of the plate. Hit in the air, left center field. That's going to get in for a base hit. London May delivers a one-out single here in the bottom of the seventh. That gives the Lady Pirates the tying run at the on the bases. Cameron Smith would represent the winning run, but we're going to get – I think we're going to get a runner at first base. We are. And let's see, it looks like it's going to be number 10, I believe. Going to come in as a pinch runner for London May. And that's Tierra Jenkins. Tierra Jenkins, we just announced a little bit ago, won her weight class in powerlifting for Pearl High School. And now she's going to be on the bases representing the tying run for the Lady Pirates as Cameron Smith will come to the batter's box. Cameron Smith on the day has struck out twice and grounded out once. She's 0 for 3. Batting average now down to 214. First pitch to her, hit towards first base and caught on the line drive. Tierra Jenkins heads up play to be back at the bag and avoid the double play. So she'll be safe at first. And now with two outs, Hannah Gray Simmons comes to the plate. And just, I guess, that she is the pitcher. She has an opportunity here to Keep this inning alive and have a chance to not take a loss, depending on what she can do at the plate. First pitch, low and in the dirt for ball one. One ball, no strikes to count. Good job by the catcher, DeRossett, to scoop it up. Keep the runner at first base. Fly ball hit to right field. Right fielder coming in, and she will make the catch and end the inning. And the Missy Gators will defeat the Lady Pirates by a score of 4-3. to three. The win will go to Faith Thomas. The loss will go to Hannah Gray Simmons. No save in the ball game. And that will end it. We're going to step away and take a break, but stay tuned because when we come back, I'll be joined by head coach Leanne Purnell as we talk softball here on the Pirate Media Network. Back in a moment. Head network. In times of joy, in moments of grief. We are there. When the world looks for truth, broadcasters come through, even when all else fails. Today, with more ways than ever to experience the moments that transform our lives, Americans still choose broadcast television and radio more than all other media combined. Television and radio are still the most trusted sources for news and entertainment. And our web and social sites are among the most visited sites in our daily lives. When important moments happen, both big and small, we're the first informers to history. We are the pioneers, the innovators, the local broadcasters of radio and television. Reaching more people, touching more lives. Serving Mississippi since 1967, Mississippi Bonding Company is prepared to help in your time of need. Our agents are the quickest, most efficient, and most educated bail bonds agents in the area. We use state-of-the-art computer equipment and services to process all applications, credit cards, and deliver the necessary documents to get your friends and family released as quickly as possible. All jails, all courts, statewide and nationwide service, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In trouble? Call Mississippi Bonding Company right now and let our professional agents help. Welcome back to Pearl Pirates Softball here on the Pirate Media Network as the Pirates lose a close one, 4-3 to three, to the Missy Gators from Vicksburg here with Coach Lee Pernell. Coach, first off, a tough defeat, a game that you go up 3 to nothing. looks like you got a chance to pull one out and just couldn't hold on to it there at the end. I think we got real impatient in the box. We got She, she got flustered a little bit, the pitcher did, and we didn't take advantage of that. And then we got a couple of things going when we, when we did the button and running and hit and running, and we just were so young that we don't know when to sit back and relax. 
You, you talk about young coaches. I was looking down the roster. You've got two seniors and three juniors, if I counted right. So only five players out of your 20-plus on your roster are, are older than sophomores. So you've got freshmen, sophomores, even a couple of seventh graders, uh, eighth graders. So, so you've got a real young team. When you look at that in a season now that uh, you're getting off to a rocky start, but as a coach, do you try to do anything any different knowing how young you are? We do a lot of teaching, and I love to teach, right. so that's a good thing. Of those five that you talked about being juniors and seniors, only two of them have ever played fast right. pitch before, so that makes it even more interesting. However, as far as school fast pitch ball, right. however, I think every practice we're finding stuff that we mentally don't know how to do. So we're teaching a lot of the game, and we are getting so much better, but we're just not where we need to be. We have, we have increased – physically and mentally and but we're just not where we need to be just because we're so far behind when we started. Coach, you and I talked yesterday that now you're facing to enter a period that spring break's coming up. You're not going to play another game for almost two weeks. It's like 14, 12, 12 days, I think, sometime before you're going to play another game. You're not even going to get to practice for now for over a week. Cause, and then even then, you're going to have a limited squad because of spring break and a history trip to New York with the school. So how tough is that going to be now to, to be off for that long and then bring the girls back and try to get something established again? You know, DP, you can look at it a lot of different ways. I look at it as they're so young, they really don't know the difference. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking, for, for me, it is driving me crazy. In right. my, my first year ever, I think that I've not practiced at least three or four times over spring break. Actually, it's my first year since I've been the fast pitch coach that we haven't played over right. spring break. But because of the situation and uh, that, that history group going and, you know, they got to live life too. Sure. I got to live life too. But <laughs> it, the, the circumstances as they are, we're just going from here and, um, We'll, we'll, when, we, when we practice, we'll, we'll do what we need to do. Good deal. Coach, thanks a lot for spending some time with us. Hate the loss, but uh, understand you're going to have some stuff done tomorrow. Good luck with that. We look forward to seeing you next time we bring a broadcast. Appreciate you. Good deal. That's head coach Leanne Purnell, ladies fast pitch softball coach, slow pitch two for that matter. As the Pirates take one tonight and lose by a score of four to three, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I'll be back over at uh, my little booth, so to speak, give you some stats and wrap up this game. You're watching Pearl Pirates Softball on the Pirate Media Network. The Mississippi Braves. Mississippi Braves 2013 baseball season is right around the corner. Don't miss all the excitement and action when the regular season begins on Thursday, April 4th. There's still some great seat locations for season tickets for all 70 home games or other ticket packages. Call the Trustmark Park box office at 888-BRAVES-4 or stop by the ballpark box office to reserve your season tickets, ticket packages, or individual game tickets right away. Opening night, April 4th, sponsored by the Mississippi Army National Guard. Make it every game. Harvey's Fish Hut is located on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road in Pearl, Mississippi. Harvey's prides itself on having the best fried catfish in the metro area, as well as tasty pan trout. Harvey's Fish Hut only serves quality Mississippi farm-raised catfish. Dine-in or carry-out, Harvey's Fish Hut is always served hot and fresh, open Monday through Saturday for both lunch and dinner. So stop by and see Willie Harvey at Harvey's Fish Hut on the corner of Airport Road and Old Whitfield Road, or call to place your order at 601-939-6262. 601-939-6262. Welcome back to Pearl Pirates Softball here on the Pirate Media Network as the Pirates fall to the Missy Gators tonight by a score of 4-3. to three. The Missy Gators from Vicksburg, four runs on six hits. They committed three errors. They left four runners on base. The Lady Pirates had three runs on six hits, no errors. The Lady Pirates left nine runners on base. The Lady Pirates, one for ten with runners in scoring position. The Missy Gators with three of eight with runners in scoring position. Time of the game, one hour, 53 minutes. Some quick stats for you real uh, as we wrap this game up. For the Missy Gators, first off, uh, from the hitting department, Bowser went one for four, one for three for Newman, one for two with a run scored and an RBI for McGrew, one for two with an RBI for Callender, one for three, a run scored for Lewis, and one for two with an RBI and a double for DeRossett. That rounded up to six hits, four runs for the Missy Gators. Thomas went seven innings. Uh, faced 33 batters. She gave up three runs, no earned runs. She had six hits, one triple, had a sack fly and two sack bunts, walked three and struck out seven for the Missy Gators. For the Lady Pirates, first in the offensive side of the category, Miller went two for three. Shelby Miller, two for three with a run score. She had a triple and a walk in the ball game, also a stolen base. Uh, Bullman had an RBI, 
uh, did not come up with a hit. Harvey went one for three with a run scored. London May was two for three on the night. McClendon was one for three, and Keebler scored a run in her two at bats. She had a sack bunt and a strikeout on that. Uh, Lady Pirates uh, pitcher Hannah Gray Simmons went seven innings, faced 29 batters, four runs, uh, all four earned. She had gave up six hits, one double, had one sack bunt, walked four and struck out four. She did hit one batter as well. Our PMN player of the game is going to be Shelby Miller, the center fielder. Again, two for three with a run scored, had the triple, had a walk, a stolen base. Uh, Shelby Miller is going to be our PMN player of the game today, and she will get a gift card. So thanks so much, Shelby. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us. We're glad you were able to participate with us tonight, be here a part of a Pearl Pirate broadcast uh, here on the Pirate Media Network. Again, we will be doing these uh, throughout the season. We've got three more baseball, uh, softball games we're going to try to do. Of course, our next baseball broadcast will be tomorrow night as the Pirates will play Wingfield Falcons at Level Woods Park. First pitch schedule for 6 p.m. We'll go on the air at 4.30 with our pregame show. Then Saturday we'll be back here at Pirate Park as we'll host North Forest. A JV at noon, Varsity at 2. So that's the next couple of broadcasts coming up here on the Pirate Media Network. Again, thanks for joining us. Our sponsors, Mississippi Bonding, Harvey's Fish Hut, Sign Mart, Hermetic Rush Services, City of Pearl, Sonic Drive-In, Alumni House, Moss Creek Fish House, Mississippi Praves, and DeSalvo's Restaurante Italiano. Our production crew, our executive producer is Frank Hutton. Director and producer had the night off tonight, but we're going to still give him credit because he does a lot of work. Roy Harper and associate producer Michael Brewer, who teaches the digital media class here at Pearl High School. Transportation, who helps haul our trailer around, get it to our location. City of Pearl, Urban Forestry Building and Grounds, Perry Lowry. Our camera operators tonight. We had Tyler Johnson down at first base. We started with Perry Lowry at third, at third base, ended up with Alex Hutton. Uh, but a great job with them tonight. Don't forget this broadcast to Pearl Pirate High School Athletics is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast, downloads, or copying of any type without the expressed written permission of the Pirate Media Network is strictly prohibited. For everyone involved, we thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you've enjoyed it. Again, the Pirates lose to the Missy Gators by a score of 4-3. to three. And don't forget, we'll see you tomorrow night from Levelwoods Park for Pearl Pirate Baseball. Until then... I'm DP saying good night, everybody.